Hey, how's it going? It's super, super humid, very warm day. Thanks to Australia for all the extreme heat that we're getting. Thank you guys. Not really, but it is very humid. So what happens is if something goes wrong with your pumpkin, it means that it can turn bad very, very quickly. Now my blossom end I thought was going soft. It seems to have hardened up, but it still doesn't look 100% right. So I've had to run out and yesterday being a public holiday did not help so I had to run out and get some stuff. Uh, I've got hydrogen peroxide here. This is the smallest bag of um, sulfur I could get my hands on. Tools of the trade, I think a paintbrush might be helpful to apply that, I'm not sure. And I've also got a little knife with a nice new blade which I'll clean. Do some surgery on the pumpkin very soon. Okay, here we go. This is the um, blossom end and I thought it was a bit worse. It looked like that but that's come off, it's dry. And the whole, the whole end's really solid. Like, it looks pretty good, to be honest. Better than what it did the other day. So I think, I don't think I'm going to cut it, but I will brush some of the sulfur in there. Actually, correction on that. Hydrogen peroxide first, let it dry, and then some sulfur. Get it right. I'm also going to turn into that crazy pumpkin person that's going to have a fan on the pumpkin and to do that I've got to run a cable from downstairs up to here. Okay, so here we go. I, met, I actually happen to have a um, waterproof box for the connection so that works good. The fan's doing its thing. Some sulfur will go on here and uh, everything should be good. So if you're getting into this pumpkin growing thing and you want to take it a bit more seriously you're probably going to have to make sure that you can get power to your pumpkin at some point because the whole fan thing uh, can get quite important when things start going bad. Now I've seen Tim with a fan on his pumpkin for a lot, I've seen other people with fans as well, so yeah, it's something to think about uh, if you're gonna take it to the next level. Hey pumpkin people, how's it going? We're at 20 DAP or DAP, days after pollination. If you didn't know what that meant, it's an important measurement and you'll see people talking about that sort of thing all the time. I'm gonna put more sand down on the pumpkin or underneath the pumpkin I'm going to put up a uh, cover made of a tarp and some rope, which I had left over from last year, and I'll be covering it with a sheet. I checked in with Tim Harris, New Zealand record holder, and I asked him when he did that. He covers his in a sheet from day two of being a pumpkin, and uh, when the temperature drops about 10 or 12 degrees overnight, you'll see that he'll put uh, blankets over his pumpkin, as well as the big hoop-type structure that he normally has. So that's what I'm up to. Oh, and when Tim gets back from holiday, I'll be going to go check out what he's up to in his patch and see just how well his pumpkin is growing this season. So there we go, that's all that's been happening this week in the tiny patch and hopefully everything stays stable and the weather has cooled down so it's looking good. So make sure to check out the blog. I do updates there about different bits and pieces and I am on Patreon. Go see what it's all about. If you like the content that I make and you want to help support me and help me make more in the future, you can help me out by giving me a dollar a month. Come say hi on Instagram. If you aren't using Instagram, go check it out. It's really cool, easy to use, some great people to connect with there and I share bits and pieces throughout the week there as well, uh, as well as photos and stories on there. Until next time, I'm Sam and I will see you next time.